the nine traits of the wealthy. I can see that if you can apply these principles, changes will begin to happen around you. But if it's going to be, it's up to you. If it's going to be, it's up to you. Nine traits of the wealthy. Number one, an entrepreneurial mindset. An entrepreneurial mindset. What do we mean by this? Running your own business is the number one way to break out of the rat race and make money. That is the truth. Not the traditional employment route. I know that many of you who are on this platform, you are employed somewhere and I do not mean to discourage you to write off and resign from your place of work. Please don't do so. Hold on to what you have on the way to what you desire. But it has been purely established, it has been firmly established that an entrepreneurial mindset leads to the creation of wealth and to the increase in income. You've got to understand this, that when they hire you in a place of work, they fix their own level of what they'll pay you. An entrepreneurial skill would mean that you decided that you found a problem you can solve, a, a way you can contribute to society, something you can do for which you will be paid. So from my home where I'm sharing with you today, we have a person who comes to clean the, the, the premises. He's paid somewhere around 15 to 20 pounds an hour. But then at the same time, <laughs> I drive to my doctor to take a COVID-19 test. I sit before my doctor, hi, uh, Mr. Matthew Shimlo, hi, hi. And within seven minutes, the test is over. And for that seven minutes test, I pay something like between 130 and 150 pounds. Let us assume that 50 pounds went to the laboratory, 100 pounds to for with my doctor for one hour. Now, you've got to realize that that is the level at which my doctor, who has a private practice, have decided to charge. When you have your own entrepreneurial place, you are able to fix how much you want to sell. You are able to fix what you want to achieve. Number one way around the world where maple make wealth is through an entrepreneurial mindset the mindset to exchange goods services capacities for payment and you decide how much they pay you so you've got to make up your mind what are the giftings i have which i can turn to a business and then when you come on this platform we're going to teach you how to run the business what to do, what makes businesses thrive, how businesses can be initiated, the steps to take to start the business, to grow the business, to multiply the business. Because it's not enough to start a business. There are many people who start businesses. Actually, here in the United Kingdom, 20% of businesses started always die before five years. In fact, some never took off. They just were registered. It never took off. 20% of businesses started die within five years because the people who started it nobody taught them how to start how to grow how to multiply until it becomes an enterprise that is bigger than the one who founded it number two traits of the wealthy apart from them having an entrepreneurial mind even if you hire a person who is wealthy you hire not just his skill you hire his gift and you hire his ability. He comes there, he determines what he wants to be paid. That's why you find some people who rather choose to be consultants, which takes us to the next point. Disciplined with time. The wealthy are disciplined with time. What do we mean? Number one, they work hard. Not only do they work hard, the wealthy exceed the 40 hour week habit. International Labor Organization have fixed for all governments around the world that they should not make you work for more than 40 to 45 hours max. If they do, they'll be breaking labor law. 
But listen, you will never meet a wealthy person who feel, folds his hand and crosses his leg after giving 40 hours of 168 hours of the week. After giving 40 hours to work and they fold their legs and fold their hands. Rather, they are disciplined with their time. They are looking for things to fill their hours with. Somebody had said, fill every moment with something to keep in store for you. Fill every moment with something to keep in store for you. So they work for about 68 hours. You never meet any millionaire who works for less than 68 hours a week. You've got to realize if you want to create wealth, you have to change many things around, break out of the cycle of the things that waste your hours and time and maximize the time of your life. You've got to realize this, that yesterday will never come back. And uh, every day, your life on earth, it, you are growing, but also you are cutting your time here short. And uh, life is divided into segments. <laughs> you know, the early years are the, are, the, are, the, are the years when you were just growing up. And then there is the, they are the learning years. Then after the learning years, then you have the earning years. But then after the earning years, then you have the yearning years. Learning, earning, yearning. Learning, earning, yearning. And even in each one, they intermingle. Even in your yearning years, you should still be learning. And in your learning years, you should really be earning. However, if you want to be like the wealthy, you've got to realize that they maximize their time. And some people misunderstand people who want to create wealth. They say, oh, they're so hard. They don't want you to relax. Why can't they just relax? Oh, yeah, they want to relax, but they enjoy what they're doing. The third is you must see the big picture of change. You must see the big picture of change. In other words, wealth creation is possible. It is really possible for you to change your world. Sometimes something in us makes us think everything that can be invented has been invented. Every idea that can be run had already been run. Every, every concept people can have have already gone through their mind, but that's not true. You have to see a bigger picture. Ask yourself, what are some challenges I notice that I don't have solutions for? So you need to see it. You need to pursue it and you need to make it happen. See a bigger picture. If I want to create wealth, why do I want to create this wealth? Where is my service needed? How can I make that wealth creation a possibility? Number four, the wealthy have unusual confidence. Unusual confidence. Wealthy people believe any vision is achievable. You've got to realize the wealthy, they, they see where they are going. They have unusual confidence that it is possible. They do not write themselves out. You've got to realize that nobody can make you what you do not want to be. And once you understand that, look, every gifting and every ability I need is already in my DNA, then I can achieve it. The number five trait of the wealthy is that they are into problem solving. They solve problems. Number five, problem solving. Wealth is a result of the problems you solve. Never, never forget that. Wealth is a result of the problem you solve. Number six, they're able to harness. They're able to harness resources. They're able to harness resources. Wealth creators become extremely willing to bring in and use the skills and abilities of others. They harness resources. They harness resources. In other words, when you look around you, you hear of Microsoft, but you may not even realize that Microsoft had to harness other people's ideas. Bill Gates did not just build a big company. He looked for people who are gifted and began to bring them in. 
you've heard of Facebook, but maybe you didn't even realize that Facebook created eight major campuses. We'll go to the universities and hire the best of minds and put them there and say, come up with crazy ideas, something no one had ever thought about. And they pay such a young person whom they can see he's very gifted. Uh, Amazon will look for people who read things like artificial intelligence, AI or ASI, artificial uh, super intelligence. Hire them and tell them, all we hired you to do is to think and come up with concepts, ideas no one had ever thought about. Now, you may not have the money to do all that, but you need to know how to harness resources to create wealth. Number seven, they take risks. They take risks. You will never, never meet a billionaire, apart from those who inherited wealth, who does not take risks. And even if they inherited the wealth, if they do not take risks, somebody will come bypass them and they will remain where they used to be. Wealth creators are great risk takers. Number eight, resilience. Wealthy people are resilient. You will never meet a wealthy person who doesn't have track record of things he had lost, opportunities he had lost. Number eight, number eight, resilience. Setbacks don't deter wealth creators. Setbacks don't deter them. They know that it takes time to birth good things. They know it. So they are very resilient. They take time. They stand tall. Failures do not discourage them. If you are not resilient, you will give up easily. You will never meet anyone who does not have a story of what he had to go through, the challenge he had been through. And so resilience is a characteristic of the wealthy.